Hello everyone and welcome back uh, to my Senate uh, prediction videos um, for this uh, 2020 election cycle and the next state uh, we come to is the state of Wyoming, the smallest state in the United States in terms of population, um, but a very large state in terms of area. It is uh, a very vast, wide open space, um, home of Yellowstone and uh, many other beautiful uh, parts of this country. It is a Republican held seat and it is held currently by Senator Mike Enzi. And this seat is unique because Senator Enzi, who is in his fourth term, is the first incumbent senator that we are profiling that is retiring. Uh, this will be Senator Enzi's uh, last term um, in the uh, Senate, and uh, he will retire. Uh, Senator Enzi um, has served in the Senate uh, for 24 years at the end of his term, a very long and distinguished uh, career in uh, the Senate. Um, so let's take a look at the state. Um, Enzi won by 54.7% of the vote in 2014. Not that he received that that 54% of the vote. No, he beat his opponent by 54%. That was the difference between him and his uh, closest opponent. Um, Trump won the state uh, by 46.30% of the vote. Um, and uh, Donald Trump is going to win uh, Wyoming's three electoral votes again uh, this time. Um, this is the most Republican state in the country. There are six electoral votes on election night that are for sure going to go to the to the to the Democrats and the Republicans. Three of those are from the District of Columbia that will go to the Democrats, and three uh, that will go to the Republicans from Wyoming. Um, if an asteroid hit the planet, um, Wyoming would vote uh, for the Republican. That's, that's just the way it is. Uh, Wyoming's a very red red state. Um, very, very red state. Um, the candidates uh, to replace Senator Enzi are, and I don't want to butcher uh, this uh, lady's name, uh, the Democratic nominee, uh, it's Dr. Ben David. Um, she is a uh, climatologist, um, very accomplished scientist um, that is making uh, climate change uh, a big part of her campaign and protecting the environment. Her opponent is a former uh, United States Representative Cynthia Lummis. Uh, Cynthia Lummis has a long uh, and distinguished career in uh, politics in Wyoming um, and at the state and federal level. Uh, she has been involved in politics uh, since 1982 and uh, has, a, as I said, a long career, served um, several terms in the House of Representatives uh, before leaving the House of Representatives in 2017. Um, interesting thing about this race, um, even though uh, Wyoming was the first state to grant women's uh, suffrage in, the in their state constitution um, and had the first uh, female voter in the world, um, this will be the first uh, U.S. Senator from Wyoming uh, that is a female. Uh, so, um, whoever wins this race uh, will make history. And um, on this race, uh, this is not even a hard call to make it all. Looking at the primary votes alone, you can tell what an uphill struggle this is going to be. 105,000 votes 
were cast total in the Republican primary. 105,862 votes. 23,372 were cast statewide in the Democratic uh, primary. And um, that figures to be about an 81 to 18 matchup. Um, really an 82-18 matchup. Um, uh, folks, this, this, this isn't even going to be close. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Uh, ben David is a very accomplished, can't, could, you know, scientist, has an inspirational story. She's a PhD. She's an immigrant. V very good story. But she is running in Wyoming. And she is running as a Democrat. And that's all it is. Um, Cynthia Lummis is going to win. Uh, Cynthia Lummis is going to be the next senator from Wyoming. Uh, Cynthia Lummis is going to win this election overwhelmingly um, and very convincingly. So my prediction is uh, since Cynthia Lummis becomes Senator Lummis. It's a Republican hold and um, it's not even close. Uh, so that's my prediction. The Republicans hold this seat and Cynthia Lummis begins her first term in the U.S. Senate.